What's up everyone, Ed here, and today I'm going to review the BM800 condenser microphone plus the flexible arm stand for only 959 pesos or 19 US dollars. This is the BM800 condenser microphone and the flexible arm desk stand combo for only 959 pesos. Beside it is the 7.1 USB sound card which we'll be using to compare the sound between with and without using one. Yes, I am not using a phantom power supply to power this microphone. This video will be divided into 4 parts, the unboxing and the setup, the tutorial on how to get a great sound with this microphone, the sound tests, and my insights about this product. I'll be putting up the timestamps below in the comment section. So let's begin by unboxing the BM800 first. Inside the box, you'll get some documentation, a wind foam, an XLR to 3.5mm cable, a shock mount, and of course the BM800 microphone. Note that this microphone requires enough power to run since it's a condenser microphone. Apparently, my first gen Intel motherboard supply enough power for this one, but in case your PC doesn't, then I suggest getting a phantom power supply or at least a USB sound card. Now for the flexible arm desk stand, you'll get a clump, a screw, a microphone mount, and a flexible arm stand. The total length of the stand is 70 cm with 35 cm for each arm. The build is pretty decent and sturdy in my opinion. As for the sound card, we will be using Steelsound 5H V2 USB sound card, which has 7.1 surround sound and 12 channel equalizer. Both the microphone and the sound card are plug and play devices. Now that is all set up, let's proceed with the tutorial on how to make this thing work. Now I'm going to show you how to configure the mic after you plug it in in your motherboard. Uh, head over to the tray icons, right click the V volume tray icon here and then choose recording devices now if you got multiple recording devices here find out which ones are bm800 and then click properties in order to hear yourself you should tick this box and hit apply head over to the next tab which is the levels and your mic mic boost might be at 0 db all the way here uh, change it to, uh, to a higher gain and you should hear yourself now adjust these sliders to your preference me i personally like uh, plus 20 db boost and the mic volume is set at 70 percent that way i could lessen the background noise now if your motherboard isn't able to boost your microphone then that is the time where you should get the sound card also one more thing uh, head over the enhancement stub and you should uh, you could uh, experiment on these settings i don't like them so i disabled them all but if this works for you then good for you now i'm going to show you a trick when you are recording in obs uh, one trick i find useful to get rid of those background noise is to add a noise suppression filter in your micro microphone it's right here i currently got it uh, enabled here now if i turn it off you should probably hear the noise my background noise because of the air conditioner now uh, adjust the sliders to your preference again so just do not make it too hard uh, one more thing if you move the sliders to the left uh, it will make the effect much stronger if you move it to the right it will lessen the effect so uh, configure it cor correctly so that your voice don't end up sounding like a robot. You can also add a noise gate right here so it doesn't record much noise when you are not talking. So that's it. Now I'm using my BM800 plugged in a 7.1 USB sound card. I don't really recommend getting one just for the sake of your microphone. But you can really notice the improvement when you're using an earphone or a headset. Now to configure this thing, 
head over again to the recording devices and then properties and then uh, head over the custom tab tick this agc box and you should probably you should hear a significant change in volume adjust it in your level stop i set it at 13 percent because it's too loud but it's still up to your preference now we'll head over to the sound tests which consists of raw recordings and post process recordings using audacity for both with and without sound card this is a mic test for the bm800 directly plugged into my motherboard with no audio processing mic test one two now this is a mic test for the BM800 directly plugged into my motherboard with post-processing using Audacity. Mic test 1, 2. This is a mic test for the BM800 plugged into a 7.1 USB sound card with no audio processing. Mic test 1, 2. Now this is a mic test for the BM800 plugged into a 7.1 USB sound card with post-processing using Audacity. Mic test, one, two. Now, for my thoughts about this product, the BM800 picks up a lot of background noise, especially if you didn't set the settings correctly. The scissor arm stand is incredibly short, although it is enough for me since I only have a small room and my desk is just a few feet away from me. Other than that, I honestly think that this product is a good steal, especially for its price of 959 pesos or 19 US dollars. You get both the BM800 condenser microphone plus the desk stand. Normally, you'd get each one of them for 700 pesos each so you save 400 pesos with this purchase as for the 7.1 usb sound card it costs around 250 pesos but there are a lot of cheaper options out there again i don't recommend getting one if your motherboard can boost your microphone's volume i'll include all of the product links in the description so check them out i'm looking forward into reviewing more products in the future but if you're new in my channel i mostly upload gaming videos such as dota 2 guides and ranked matches i also host giveaway from time to time so be sure to be updated by liking my facebook page link down in the description thank you so much for checking out my review tell me what you think about this product in the comment section below like this video if you find this helpful, subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching guys. Peace!